I collaborate within my work with architects. In a way, the knowledge that lies within architecture is very useful for material development on the smaller scale. So really translating techniques on the larger scale into fine textures or fabrics. My crystallization collection was my first time I collaborated with architects. The architects, Bente van Krauwel, they were working with 3D printing back then for their model making. And I was really fascinated by the intricacy in detail. When I started with 3D printing, I was using it very much the way an architect would be using it. But now the knowledge of fabric making is really implemented in the way we work with a 3D printer. For example, collaboration with the University of Technology in Delft where we created like a, a tool fabric that was woven, but then was put into a 3D printer. And the 3D printer becomes more like a new form of embroidery, I would say. Recently, it was turned the other way around, where architects asked me to collaborate on a large-scale uh, architecture project, which is Naturalis, which is a national history museum here in the Netherlands. I've been working on the stone development, like three-dimensional panels that run all the way in and outside of the building. I wanted to add some softness to the building and of course I can't bring in the softness of my work into a scale like that but I did want it to look as soft as, uh, as a garment.